Hello everybody and welcome to Breslov.org. I want to wish everyone a Ruchem Avayim. And I'd like to also uh, say that it's, uh, I feel so special to be able to be recording this uh, shir here in Yerushalayim, Yerach Kodesh, uh, Baruch Hashem. And well, let's see about the Parsha, uh, this beautiful Parsha of Chai Yisar. There's so many things to speak about. Of, of about Sari Menu, and let's talk a little about the Maharas Hamachpela and the importance of it, and how that's also connected to uh, the, the 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 purchase of the Harabayas by David Melech. So let's try. Here we go. Reb Nassan has a beautiful Torah, and we're going to read it inside. But everyone, so here we go. And this time, if you want to find it, it's actually in Hilchas Piri of Rivia in uh, in uh, uh, Lekutei Alachas, and it's Ice Letter Tes Zion. So it's Letter Sixteen. Okay. Now here we go. Finasati kesev asod the kach mi many, right? So you give me the money and then take the field. Avravinu docha katzmai liknois marasam of pedla bekesev money daika. Avravinu was very very insistent that he buys the land. Ephraim wanted to give it to him, but Avravinu says, "No, no, no, I don't want it. I want to pay for it bekesev money." Now look at this. David he bought the base of with the Makim Amikdash. We know he wasn't Zaykh to build the base of Amikdash. His son Shlaima Melech built the base of Amikdash, but David Amelech was the one that bought the Makim Amikdash. And he secured the land. He bought it from me, Aravna Ayavusi. Alright? So what happened? Shama. Uh, 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 it's not going to be going. Uh, you, this can't go up for free. I can't take this for free. These were very, very lofty places. Then they are very lofty places. Both the Marasam Pela and both the Makim Amigdash. We know that from the from Maris Pela, all Nishmas Yisrael before they make their way up to Shemay and they pass through the Maris Pela. It's such an important place for Klal Yisrael. We know by the Mikdash where where the Evan Evan which is this is this is the Shah to Shemayim. Who Shisham. His galus hashkocha beyoisit shezik kedushas Yisrael. In Eretz Yisrael, you have the greatest demonstration of hashkocha pratis. You mama see the hashkocha pratis in Eretz Yisrael. You see the beautiful things going on over here. They don't even have a government, but yet the country is flourishing. It's fascinating. The hashkocha pratis. You see, it's mamish meis Hashem. It's so prevalent. It's amazing. Come on, it's a tamid. Ain't the Hashem alekech alba. Hakadosh Baruch Hu says in in Sefer Devarim, tamid ain't the Hashem alekech alba. Hakadosh Baruch Hu is always looking and paying attention exactly to what goes on specifically in Eretz Yisrael. The vaday gam Eretz. And any place that you have greater levels of Kedusha, of course you're going to see greater levels of Ashkocha, brothers of Hashem, watching over it and protecting it. And Ashkocha is, in general, the Kedusha. In other words, because HaKadosh Baruch Hu is part and parcel to it, he's involved in it. And that is what lends it its Kedusha. She Karab Eretz Yisrael, and that is in Eretz Yisrael. Bisham Eretz Yisrael, Sham Eim, Esa Kedushas, Ad Kedush Kedashim. In Eretz Yisrael, there are ten levels of Kedusha until you come all the way to the Kedush Kedashim, where the Abba Chesia is, where the Ma, where the Aaron stood. And that's the highest level of Kedusha. Shisham Iker is Galus Ashkocha. And that's where you see the as Galus Ashkocha. Look, we know that when the Kayin Godel would go into the Beit Kaddish HaKadoshim, if, if Chas Shalom, he wasn't the right person, and he was just going in there because of COVID or whatever it was, so we know he didn't make it out. The Kayin Godel did not make it. You see that Shkocha Pratis specifically over there, V'cheim b'mare samach peyla, shehoya muchan likvura sa'ovais, la'alais derech sham, li'kolo ba'yitz barach, ta'ovais ha'kadoshim are buried over there. You have, you have Adam and Chava, you have Avram and Sarah, you have Yitzhak and Rivka, you have Yaakov and Leah. 
the the always like a daishim are buried over there. Avol elu amikoyimois hayutachas yada sitracha etzel efron var var ravna hayugusi. Our ravna by hayugusi owned. He owned he owned the land the Mokim Amigdash Ephraim. Wow, what a what a, what a, a, a conniving person he was! What a conniving person was, and he owned the Maras Hamachpeva. Ki chein dava b'chol makim shenelam kedusha atzmam sheze v'ze olam hagashmi. Because whenever the kedusha is hidden in this world, where it's nelam, it's hidden in this world. Who batchila tachas yada sitracha kamuva? You'll always find it in the hands of the sitracha, in the hands of the devil, so to say, in the hands of the devil, because he's holding on to it because it's the, the kedusha is hidden. So he has hold on it. The sitraka, the other side of impurity, has hold on it. The the what's the main what's the main uh, uh, weapon of the sitraka is teva. He says everything is natural. He tries to push down and, and put down the fact that it's all Ashkocha Pratis. He's not happy that it's Ashkocha Pratis. He wants to show that it's, it's only, it's only natural. Everything is natural and that's the exact opposite. Therefore, both David Melech, from Avron Ayivusi, and and Avram Avinu from from Ephron Achidi, he had to buy it, and he had to they had to give it over rightfully. They had to give it over rightfully, and, and not that that he took it from them, but they had the right das, and he gave them the money. They accepted it, and they gave it over. Right, now you day kesev molly the lay bechinam. He could have got it for free. Everyone didn't want to give it. Didn't want to take it. They didn't want to take his money. But he really wanted his money, right? Because Avram Vinu's money was so glistering. It had the levels of kedusha. The four hundred coins with the four hundred worlds of kisufim of the the, the four hundred worlds that the tzaddikim are, are a delight in 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 the in the, uh, in the next world. The four hundred, the four hundred, such a very special number. Why was it four hundred coins? Because in regard to the four hundred worlds, ki kesef kalal hashpois, because kesef has all of the hashpois, all of the hashpa is found in the kesef. Bechol teusam achag hakviras shel teva u bechinas avoid the zara, and the whole I think of teva is against we can avoid the zara. Hayikahu machmas chemdas hamaman sheboi tevuchim kol hashivim avoid the zara is. All the Avaidah Zaris are, are bound in the desire to have more money. They want money. They want money. How do you know that? Do you see this now? Here, look. Look by Bilam. Again, when he told him to go to curse, when, 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 when he came to him to tell him to come to curse Klal Yisrael, so he, he couldn't do it. But as soon as he said, I'll take, they gave him money, oh, money. So then, then, then it was okay for him to be able to go. By Avram and David, by Avram Avinu with Ephraim and, and David with Avrona, right? Those that understand this and know this. So what do we take from this? We have to understand that, that the, 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 the highest levels of play, of holiness is where you see Hakadosh Baruch Hu's Ashkach Pratis, and where do you see Hakadosh Baruch Hu's Ashkach Pratis most prevalent? That's in Eretz Yisrael, and that's what we see, and that's why we see Tamid Eini Hashem Alekecha Bo Meresus Hashana Adachus Hashana, and we also know, and we also know that that Avram Avinu unsaw he knew the kedusha. That's even though you looked at the the, the, the Maras Hamakpela and it was black, it was dark. But Avram Avinu sensed the kedusha that was underneath there, and he wanted it so badly, and therefore he knew he knew what the, the value was, and therefore he gave him the kesef mole. And everyone should understand that really Hakadosh Baruch Hu is Hashkacha Pratis is the most important thing. And Rav Nassim, Rav Nassim writes many times the main thing that we have to understand, and the main point in life is that this chiddush oilam. Chiddush Oilam. The world is not the same. Every day we say, And we say every single morning, it's a new world, and every time we start again. 
So the same way Avram Avinu and David HaMelech understood, we should always know, we start again all the time, and we always look for our Kaddish Baruch, we should have a wonderful week, and with Kirvas Hashem Elikim Litoiv, and thank you very much for listening, have a wonderful, wonderful week. Bye-bye.